What would happen if you died in space? Death has no escape, and it is one of those phenomena that terrifies people to their bones. But have you ever imagined what would happen if you die in a place that is inapproachable? Or let's just give this thought a try. What would happen if you died in space? This is Earthy Perks, with a new episode carrying a whole lot of imagination and gives you a chance to think about a scenario that if you died in space. The first thought to strike your mind in this regard is that if you die in space, what about the body? Would it be left floating in the space? If you were exposed to the harsh depths of space, you'd lose consciousness in 15 seconds and be dead within 30 seconds to one minute. The human race has only lost 18 people in more than 50 years of space exploration. With the upcoming plans of civilian space travel and journeys to Mars, odds are that we're going to be seeing a lot more space deaths. So how would we hold a funeral in zero gravity? And what complications would be involved? Death is a genuine possibility when every time astronauts launch into space. It is essential for the astronauts to be in top-notch health for a mission, so the odds of one of them dying on the International Space Station are pretty low. Still, if any of such problems take place, the first issue at hand would be that there's nowhere to store the body. Space stations don't come with built-in morgues. One solution would be to keep the body in a pressurized suit and move it somewhere cold. Dead bodies are biohazards, so you'd want to keep the bacteria as far as away and contained as possible. But what if you don't like the idea of sharing your quarters with a sniff? Well, there are other solutions. There's a system that essentially freeze dries bodies and breaks them into tiny pieces of frozen tissue, kind of like a cremation. This would take up far less space, eliminate the whole biohazard threat, and allow for an easier return to Earth. If you don't happen to have any liquid nitrogen aboard the ship to do the freezing, the ice cold temperature of space will do the trick. Just as sailors used to bury their dead at sea, couldn't astronauts do the same and send their dead off into space? Theoretically, yes, but space is a little more complicated than the sea. Unless you strapped a mini rocket to the deceased, they would end up following the trajectory of the spacecraft from which they were ejected. But that's not the best option. So what if we waited until we reached our destination? We bury people on Earth, so surely we can do the same thing on other planets right? Well, the digging would be a little different, but that wouldn't be our biggest problem. Human bodies, especially the non-living variety, are full of earthly microbes and bacteria that would contaminate any potentially habitable locale. Even the spacecrafts exploring Mars have to be repeatedly cleaned and sanitized to protect the alien planet from earthly bugs. So the only surefire way to safely dispose of a body there would be through cremation. Hence, it is concluded that dying in space and then getting buried is not an easy task. So here is a question for you all. According to you, which of the body disposal method in space is suitable? Do let us know in the comment section below. But for now, like us, subscribe us, and yes, share us. And don't forget to hit that bell widget. This is going to make you stay updated with all the freshly brewed content by us. Till the next video fueling your imagination breaking your curiosity it's earthy perks signing off leading you to think for the appropriate method of dead body disposal in space